Kandu has gone country. State political editor Cathy Border caught up with the LNP leader at the Emerald Sail Yards after a night at a local pub. Campbell, lots of leaders when they come west suddenly discover RM Williams and Akubras. You haven't fallen victim to that? No, I've worked in the grain industry uh, over 10 years ago for many, many years, so uh, it's not the first time I've been out here. At last night's meeting, you told the people that you were appalled at what you found at Blackwater. What was wrong? Well, what I saw yesterday uh, sh shows uh, uh, significant signs of distress. You know, they're cramming a whole lot of these works camps in there. It's not just the standard of the actual camps and the accommodation. Some are good, some are terrible, but it's the impact on a place that was really once upon a time a, a family place, and I think it's been overdone. The thorny issue of mining and agriculture you addressed in depth yesterday. Can you at least assure these people that your policy will be out before the end of the year? Look, absolutely it will. Um, but look, you know, again, we've put a lot of policy out already. There are so many complex issues out here. You know, uh, all sorts of issues to do with infrastructure, um, you know, uh, affordability issues, housing issues, all those things that uh, uh, get all the publicity in the southeast corner as well. Have you been surprised by what you found? Look, this is just more of the same story we're seeing across Queensland. A tired 20-year Labor government that has really only focused on the Greater Brisbane area, the Golden Sunshine Coast. At Emerald Pub last night, I think you got a cheer when you walked in. Has can do gone all country on us? Well, I just, uh, I just say that there are people out there across Queensland who are looking for change. Thank you. I think we better shout you some butter menthols. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>